Welcome aboard. We look forward to helping you develop your business. Every successful enterprise is built on a strong foundation. Let's get started by taking care of a few basic items. Now that you're in business for yourself, it's important that you have a dedicated workspace. Keep in mind that you'll need a phone as well as a laptop or desktop computer with internet access to maintain good communication. So, before you do anything else, be sure to set up your home office with all of these items. Also, consider picking up an agenda from your local office supply store. You'll want to use it to keep track of appointments, contact information, and other important records. It may also be helpful for you to jot down potential locations for your vending machines in your agenda. Or perhaps you may find it easier just to store this information on your phone or on another electronic device. No matter what type of tool you use, always keep it with you and document all business-related activity, including mileage and expenses in it. Use Vistaprint or another printing service to create and print your own business cards. You can choose from a variety of designs, colors, stocks, and finishes, and it's all very inexpensive. You just want to make sure they look professional and include all of your contact information, including your website. Next, you need to familiarize yourself with the product offerings at wholesale retailers such as Sam's Club and Costco. A lot of times they'll have special offerings. And then you want to think about the selling points of those items. In order to market your products, it's no different than any other products. You need to know them inside and out. You need to come up with a mission statement for your business as soon as possible. The statement should be a clear and concise summary of your company's goals and values. Post your mission statement in a prominent place where you'll see it every day. You should refer to the statement when you feel challenged or lose sight of why you're in business. This should be a constant reminder of what your business represents to you. Why is it that you created this business? Is it because you want others to live a healthy and active lifestyle? Do you want to promote healthy vending? Is it just so you can provide better service to the community? Next, you need to define your market. It's crucial that you identify a lucrative market to be successful in your vending business. Here are several tips for establishing your market. Explore your city by car. And keep your eye out for businesses that seem to attract a lot of patrons. And don't forget to write those down in your agenda. Do you notice groups of customers who might want the products that you're selling? Did you find any locations that really stood out and would be a good fit for your vending machines? And don't hesitate to use the phone book or your city's annual business directory uh, or the yellow pages of the Chamber of Commerce to round out your search and your research. Directories, whether online or in print, usually list businesses by category along with addresses and phone numbers. Sometimes you can even get the contact information of CEO level people. Once you've determined the type of business you want to sell to, it should be much easier for you to find those that fit that description. And make sure to take advantage of internet resources. Tools such as Super Pages, Reference USA, uh, Sales Genie, and more help you search for businesses within a specified number of miles, and you can even add additional criteria such as number of employees, square footage of the business, and more. You may also consider printing a map and circling locations you'd like to scout out. And again, if you're unable to find a directory at your house or online, you can always visit your local chamber of commerce. They often have the largest businesses uh, signed up with them and they usually have a directory of those businesses as well. In addition, your local government should be able to provide a list of local businesses along with information about other local business owners. Make sure to contact your city government about obtaining a business license. Business licenses vary by county. You'll need to satisfy all the necessary licensing requirements in order to operate legally, and everyone wants to operate their vending business legally. And remember, if you're gonna be operating vending machines in several different locales, you may require more than one license. Check county by county, you can call your clerk of courts and they will be the ones who can guide you in the right direction as far as licensing. If your state requires a sales tax to be collected on products, you make sure to apply for a sales tax number. To find out, simply Google product sales tax in your state name. 
and in most states you can find an application online. Typically, the sales tax number is obtained through the Department of Commerce. You want to make sure to invest in a coin bag, a fanny pack, or a similar container. It'll definitely come in handy as you collect change and cash and carry it from place to place. You want to make sure to select a bag that can hold plenty of coins. Also, visit Amazon.com or your local retailer to find an automatic coin counter that suits your needs. Counters come in various shapes and sizes and at all different costs, but make sure to get one that's industrial enough to stand up to daily use. Most are cordless and they're very easy to operate. If you don't plan on counting your own change, you can inquire with your local bank about its change processing services. Some local, lo locally owned banks will have a change uh, processing machine. However, many local banks are shying away from that due to the cost to actually transport the coins. But if you pre-count them and roll them up with your own machine, they have to accept them. Also, you want to make sure to copy down the serial numbers of all your vending machines, along with the dates of purchase or any other identifying information. As you grow, your business is going to become more important. It's also a good idea to have this information on hand in case you need to reference it at any point. And it will become increasingly important for you to track the small details as you add to your fleet of machines. One final note on getting started. Don't take yourself too seriously. Everyone makes mistakes in business. If you goof up, just be honest with yourself and be honest with whoever, whomever you goofed up with. Growing your business should be a very exciting process. It's gonna be full of highs and lows and peaks and valleys, but that's what it's all about. It's inevitable that you'll hit a few bumps in, along the road, but don't let that discourage you. At times, you may even get bogged down with work or find yourself focused only on how much money you're making. In these moments, look to your mission statement as a reminder of why you started in the first place. After all, business is what you make of it.